Ever wonder how cyber war began? Do you know when was the first APT was named? In today's video, we're going to discuss that. Imagine a digital enemy that does not know how it face or does not show it face, but can spy or steal or disrupt the nation without firing a bullet. Exactly. So in 2006, a deep inside the US Air Force, Colonel Gregg is grappling with the troubling new patterns. So American network are not just facing a random hacker anymore. Instead, a skilled enemies are breaking in and staying hidden or covert for a month and silently stealing all the secrets. Realizing this is tax from, you know, our organized, careful and coming from a state back team, Colonel know that he need a better way to describe them. So he coined them a term which changed the cyber history called as a APT, Advanced Persistent Threat. Now the world finally has a name for his invisible ongoing digital battle and the world wake up for this threat of highly skilled, well-funded hacker group. So instead of looking for a quick hacks, these teams move like a silent intruders. Hiding for a month or year, you know why? Because it gets sponsored from the bank. It's sponsored from the government. And the first big opponent was known as a APT-1, which is known as a Unit 61398 from China. So in 2006, this security expert cast them quietly breaking into the hundred of governments and business network around the globe. And their mission was steal the research, tech data, even the state secrets without being seen or stopped. The world was shocked. The world was really shocked. The era of cyber espionage just went global and nobody is safe. Today, the APT story explained why the superpower now sees cyber as a true battlefield. And from the secret beginning to the global headline, these threats remind us the next big war might be fought in a code, a code not a combat. And this is how the birth of cyber war introduced in this world. Do let me know how do you find this video in a comment box. Thank you.